What is up, you beautiful bunch? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we continue our quest to find every different circulating two pound coin. We've got a bag from the 10th of November from the bank, 500 pounds in sealed bags to get into. Very exciting. Before we do that, let's refresh our memory of what we've found so far. Of course, we're only two episodes. This is the third episode into the series, so lots of gaps still to fill. We haven't put technologies in there yet. I'll have to do that. That's, of course, just the normal looking design. Rugby World Cup, very findable. All four Commonwealths, understandable to be missing those. They're very, very scarce. Hopefully, we can find one today. Steam Locomotive, again, pretty findable. Hopefully, we'll get that. All three Olympic coins still to find, both handovers and the centenary. Florence Nightingale, pretty findable. Mary Rose, pretty hard to find. King James Bible, very hard to find. I think I've only found less than a handful of these ever. So it would be nice to tick that off. Golden Guinea, very findable. The two underground coins, pretty scarce. Trinity House, Lord Kitchener, pretty findable. 2015 Britannia, should be able to find it. Low mintage though, underrated coin. Magna Carta, again, pretty tricky to find. We've got all of the others, including that very special little Gibraltar find that we found in the first episode of the series. Right, let's get on with it. Enough waffling. We've got 500 pounds to search through. Let's do it. 20 quid in each bag, 25 bags. Let's get on with it. Hopefully we can find some goodies. Hopefully a nice mix of different commemoratives. Hopefully some we need for the book and hopefully some worth more than two quid. That's the, uh, the real aim here. I will check through all of these normal looking technology coins afterwards because as we know if you watch the channel some of those if you know what you're looking for can be worth a pretty penny or two i do have a video about all of the normal looking two pounds to look out for and i have a video on the same topic about 50p two nothing bags to kick us off hopefully that's not a sign of things to come come on nothing there three nothing bags in a row if these were the bagged up bags then i would i would be a little worried but with these sealed bags doesn't mean much he says oh there we go finally we found something <laughs> abolition of the slave trade from 2007 at 200 year anniversary pretty common so back to the bank it will go we've got it already so on the top row, there you go. At least we found something though. Oh, and here's something else. It's a Jody Clark portrait. What's it gonna be? Ah, just an army centenary. Really common these. We find them all the time. Back to the bank, that will go as well. But at least we found something. <laughs> Let's carry on. I hope you've been finding some good coins in your change. Make sure you're using cash where you can to increase your chances of finding some collectible coins. Ooh. Whoops. Drop them everywhere. We were talking about this in the most recent 50p coin hunt and essentially it is up to us to keep cash flowing, you know, so when you can, instead of tapping your phone or your card. Oh, nice. There's one we need. Why not just draw a tenner out of the ATM and pay with that? You won't find a London Underground tube train paying by card. What a great little find that is. London Underground tube train. One of the ones that we just went through and noticed that we needed. So great stuff indeed. Definitely a keeper. We'll pop it down the bottom. I thought there was a die rotation on it for a second there, but that's just me turning it awkwardly. That's good though, better than what we've found so far. After those nothing bags, it was getting a bit worrying, but there's one for the book. Let's keep on hunting. Oh, there's a Shakespeare histories. These are really common. We find lots of these. This is the most common out of the three. Um, so yeah, back to the bank, that will go. We still do call the other two from the series, the comedies and the tragedies. We call those a keeper, but not the histories. We just see way too many of them. Ooh, what's this? 
There we go. There's Sir Isambard Kingdom Brunel. Brunel's portrait from 2006. We check the edge inscription. That's correct. It's got his date of birth and death there and his name. I do always check the edge inscriptions of all of the commemoratives afterwards. Who knows when a new error will pop up. Of course, some of these coins are known to have the wrong edge inscriptions on them. Specifically, the, uh, the Shakespeare tragedies is the one everybody knows about. There's another army centenary, second one of those today. And this looks like another commemorative behind it. I think it is, yeah, £2, 2012. Probably a Charles Dickens. The other option, of course, is the Olympic handover. That would be epic. Ah, no, no such luck. <laughs> Mr. Dickens it is, and he is pretty common. So up the top he goes. Let's keep going. It would be great to get an Olympic or a Commonwealth ticked off. Those seven coins, the four Commonwealths, three Olympics, probably the hardest to find, and maybe the King James Bible as well. There we go, there's a Shakespeare Tragedies, a low tier keeper. Sells for a little bit more than face value on eBay. Sells more often as part of the three coin set. Edge inscription is correct. What a piece of work is a man. Of course, this is known to have had the incorrect edge inscription minted on it from this coin, the Army Centenary. So definitely check the edge inscriptions on your Shakespeare skulls. The last time I checked, they were going for about 30 quid for the error coin, so definitely worth keeping an eye out for. And the price may have changed. It's been a while since I've checked it. Let's keep on going. I'd love to find a London Underground round or as well, the Underground double, that would be great. We need them both. Well, we just need the round or now. We've got the train. <laughs> Anything in this one, or just another army centenary, proving my point about how many of these we find. Keep on rolling. I cannot wait for the, uh, the new two pound coin, the new definitive two pound coin to enter circulation. That is gonna be great when we start finding those. Ooh, here's something, another Jody Clark portrait. Let's have a zoom in and we'll spin around. Ah, just another army centenary, unfortunately. But yeah, the uh, the new two pound coin, the King Charles III definitives. Very excited to see those in circulation. Hopefully we'll see them sometime soon. There we go, there's the Shakespeare set completed. Shakespeare comedies. Pretty nice condition on that one. And again, these are a low tier keeper in my opinion. Not worth much more than face value and not worth keeping loads and loads of them. Um, yeah, I've kind of made that decision now with the low tier keepers. I'll only keep a few of them. There's no point keeping tons and tons of them. There we go, there's the most common commemorative two pound coin. We find these pretty much every time out on a coin hunt. 60 year anniversary of VE Day, the end of World War II. Excellent stuff. Really common, but haven't seen one yet today. Let's keep going. We've got a fair, fair few bags left. Oh, there's one we need. It's a common one, but I know we need it. We definitely said we needed it when we were looking through the book at the beginning of the hunt. Trevific's Steam Locomotive. Lovely stuff. It is a cool design as well, I think. The uh, steam locomotive itself. Very, very cool. Awesome stuff. We'll pop it on the top. It's not a keeper, but today it will be. Nothing else there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bags still to go. Didn't think we had quite that many. I think the hunts have taken us. Oh, I don't know if you've seen that. I've seen it. Let's uh, go at it this way, shall we? Is it this one? I think it was this one. <laughs> I 
I'm not sure you guys would have seen that, but this is a lovely, lovely find. Hopefully, this will be a Technologies now. It is, it'll be the next one then. <laughs> okay, yeah, it is this one. Two pounds at the bottom. What's it gonna be? It's a beauty. Oh, King James Bible. We do not find many of these. As I said earlier, I think I've found probably a handful in all of the time I've been uh, searching and hunting for coins. That is a great find. And in my opinion, undervalued as well. It's worth something for sure, but in my opinion, should be worth more. They're so, so hard to find. That is a great one to get in the book. I was just saying earlier, wasn't I, about the Commonwealth, the Olympics, and that being the eight hardest ones to find. There we go, there's one that ticked off. Here's a more common one though, the Gunpowder Plot, 400 year anniversary. Pretty common, so back to the bank, that will go. Nice though, King James Bible. I think that makes any hunt, to be honest. You cannot ask for much more when you're getting that. We've got a tube train to go with it. So I am more than happy. We've still got another five bags to go, so another 100 pounds. Could we top it off with something even better? That would be amazing. Not in that bag though. Come on. Oh, here's something. Jody Clark portrait. Another army centenary. Not very exciting. <laughs> Three more bags to go. Oh. Nothing there. As I said though, we cannot grumble too much. King James Bible. Absolutely top tier find for sure. There's another abolition of the slave trade. With these, of course, you've just got to check, make sure you've got that textured finish version behind the 1807. If it's a smooth finish, that's come out of a bunk pack and worth a little bit more than the circulated version. Depends how much it's been beaten up while in circulation, to be honest. Won't be worth the same as buying one in the pack, because of course, the one in the pack that year was different to the circulated version. Right, lucky rub on the last bag. Come on, last bag luck. Give us a Commonwealth. Oh, no, not a Commonwealth, but <laughs> we did find something in the last bag. Another little VE day anniversary. Well, coin of the hunt today. Absolutely no doubt about it. King James Bible, absolutely great coin to find. Very, very scarce and a great one to get in the book. Smash the thumbs up for that beauty. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Come back, see us again soon. Some more coiny goodness. Check out some of these videos.